Hey my bowl of cereal, uh, better help yourself to a seat and some cereal because today we're in for a wild ride. Sponsorships, they're everywhere these days. They're in your closet. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is one of the most They're in your backyard. Go slash Calvin and Habs. They're even in your cereal. And I'm completely fine with that. But I don't mind creators promoting a brand deal if that means that they can give me better content. But there is one service, one company which has clawed its way help. back from the depths it was cast into six years ago. Better a help. company that seemingly better caused help. most of my favorite YouTubers to experience a memory blackout better and help. forgot all about their first scandal back in 2018. Better and help. that is better mm. hell. Better help? <laughs> Better help me not get a, a cease and desist letter from their lawyers after I release this video, <laughs> like uh, other YouTubers have. This company hired, I'm assuming, very expensive <laughs> lawyers. I got a very strongly worded cease and desist letter from BetterHelp. For the people who don't know BetterHelp, well, first of all, thank you, because that means that this is the first YouTube video you've watched in the past six years. And I appreciate that. Because today, almost every creator is sponsored by it. Even the ones I love. Mr. Bond, the Try Guys, Jax Films, Nick Rawley, Jubilee, and so many more. Better BetterHelp is a 24-7 online therapy service. They promise easily accessible therapy with licensed therapists for an arguably cheap price. They're like Fiverr, but for mental health. And if that sounds like a terrible idea to you, don't worry. That's because it is. The company has been in scandal after scandal after scandal for the past six years. Some of you might remember that back in 2018, countless of creators were also being sponsored by BetterHelp. Until their first scandal came to light. Remember when I mentioned that they promised licensed therapists? Well, in 2018, the only license they had was for being stinky little liars. Affordable and private online therapy with a professional. They don't guarantee the verification of the skills, degrees, qualifications, certification, credentials, competence, or background of any counselor. It's your responsibility to determine whether they have any degree or qualification or certification. But once this came to light, everyone started dropping better help as a sponsorship, of course. I was one of the disgusting YouTubers that um, did a better help promotion. And this was before I knew any of the, um, yeah. you know, the, the controversy. But better help, <laughs> better help yourself out of this PR disaster, <laughs> which they have because they're back now. Better help. Worse than ever. In the past few months, many of my favorite creators have been pushing better help again. And as naive as I could be, I thought, hmm, I mean, better help might have improved themselves. Their first scandal did happen six years ago. And I did read that they now do only use licensed therapists. Uh, that wasn't until I started reading the comment section on the videos that they were sponsoring. Quick reminder about BetterHelp's controversial past and also how they're selling your information to advertisers. Please don't take BetterHelp's money, they do more harm than good. I really wish you wouldn't continue advertising BetterHelp. They sold mental health data for marketing without anonymizing it for massive profits. Well. Screw you, random comments. Because Alan Matas, the co-founder of BetterHelp, ensured me they would never do anything as crazy as secretly sell private mental health data from their users. We called it a far-fetched conspiracy. And a gross violation of federal laws, state laws, HIPAA regulations, and their own terms and privacy policy. Which is why they were fined 7.8 million by the FTC last year for doing exactly that. <laughs> yeah, so the FTC proved that they have been sharing private mental health data of their users, as well as their IP addresses, email address, with companies like Facebook and Snapchat. This mental health data included answers to very personal questions such as sexual orientation, specific reasons for wanting therapy, possible eating disorders, and so much more. Of course, when they were asking those questions of their users, they ensured them that they wouldn't be sharing this at all. Except with their therapist, of course.
And yeah. <laughs> oh boy, can't wait what ads Facebook is gonna show me now that they think I'm an anxious, unemployed, widowed, bisexual, experiencing eating disorders and daddy issues. <laughs> An ad for better help? Oh man! And those are just the lies they were caught on so far. And I mean, they've been lying about these ones for years. But you know, poor startup multi-billion dollar company can't apologize for their actions. Oh. It's not their fault that they tried to abuse goodwill of their users for personal oh. corporate gain. Uh, so let's give them a chance and actually check out their services and who better to check it out than someone with a master's degree in psychology who is giving therapy right now, my girlfriend. Hey. So I already told you about BetterHelp and how great of a company they are. Yeah. Well, since I'm just a dumb content creator and you're a literal holder of a master's degree in psychology, I would like you to... Talk about the services BetterHelp provides their users. I mean, look at all these beautiful green BetterHelp check marks, while in office poop sessions have all these red crosses. You know, unlike in office therapy, BetterHelp has messaging at any time chat sessions, video sessions, phone sessions. I mean, most in office therapists have phones and laptops as well. No, they don't. <laughs> well, you might have a master's degree, but I'm pretty sure you haven't learned how to message at any time. I yet. mean, I don't think the better help therapists are gonna answer 24/7. They have their personal lives, and we as therapists want the client to be able to process what they learned and not text us 24/7, because then you're not gonna grow as a person. I think you're wrong. <laughs> Wait, so you dare say that BetterHelp's perks are actually not perks? They're creps? <laughs> <It's fucking laughs> stupid. Like, I mean, you guys don't have easy to switch providers. Fuck does that even mean? Well, either they're talking about switching telecom providers, but I'm pretty sure they're referring to easily being able to uh, switch therapists. I mean, an office therapist can be changed. No, we all know you're assigned uh, an in-office therapist at birth and then can't change it for the rest of your life. Yeah. Jokes aside, my in-office therapist had basically all of these services. I mean, I could text her whenever, I could mail her. When I had to move abroad to Sweden, we just did video call therapy for four months. So uh, this deceitful chart uh, should actually look like this. Okay, so can you guess how much they dare ask for this? It's supposed to be cheaper than an office therapy, right? So hundred $300! I'm sorry. <laughs> More specifically, 260 to $360 a month, depending on location, preferences, and therapist availability. Do you know how much I paid for my two 60-minute sessions for in-office therapy a month? $130. $130. Like, who the f*** is this service even for? You know what? We shouldn't be judging the BetterHelp platform without having tried it. Uh, we're not paying for- yeah, we don't have $300 laying around. No, there are enough horror stories on TikTok where they share what I hope no one will ever have to experience in therapy. So you want to watch some TikToks? No. I did better help for about three weeks and the straw that broke my back was when the therapist was in office for the first time. The last time was in her living room. And I was like, I'm just gonna believe no one else is there. As I log onto the video, she's talking to someone and then just stops talking. It's like, hey, how are you? So let's get started. I'm like, someone is in there. And she gets up, walks out an open door, meaning there was no privacy, goes into the lounge of like the office, makes popcorn while I'm talking, and then comes back with me, sits down and is eating popcorn with her mouth full, just chewing. What? Wait, was I supposed to react to something? How many years do you think it's gonna be before we see a true crime documentary about BetterHelp? So I tried BetterHelp twice. Um, I actually got a refund from them. So my first therapist um, was 10 minutes late to our 10 minute meeting, our first initial meeting. And then she was like, oh wow, we don't have a lot of time. I contacted them and I got a different therapist. He was also late and just completely missed our first meeting. We second said a second one, he missed that one. And then he just texted like, oh man, I'm so sorry. I was at my other job. And I was just like, what? 
the f- Wait, didn't they advertise in-office therapy being bad because they have waiting times? With in-office therapy, you've got to spend time in their waiting rooms. With BetterHelp, you can save that time. And spend it in our waiting room. This is not a BetterHelp app. I tried BetterHelp like a year ago. And in my first meeting, they're like, well, what are you struggling with? And I tell them I have an anxiety disorder, a panic disorder, and I'm dealing with depression. To which he goes, I don't think you really have those disorders. It's just society's fault because right now they're oppressing men. You can't go out and compliment a woman without becoming a sex offender. Now, I'm just gobsmacked by this. Just like, uh, what? But he continues down this tangent. And then he goes, well, and you're also a straight white man. So, of course, you're the, the reason that everything in the world is bad. When, when you look at history and think about it, we're really the saviors of the world. Yeah, I closed the laptop after that and I was done. Don't do better help. Imagine paying like $300 a month just to get assigned to Andrew Tate with a psychology degree. Look, I'm not saying that better help never helped anyone. I mean, that would be crazy. There have been people who said that their platform actually improved their mental health enormously. But with the countless horror stories and their <laughs> shady practices, I don't know if the goods outweigh the bads. There are also endless articles of how poorly and disrespectful their therapists are being treated. It's truly just a mess for both therapists and clients. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to read up on that. Again, I don't think YouTubers have to only advertise the greatest of products. However, when a company with such a shady and deceitful past tries to sell something as important as a mental health service, that in my opinion is both overpriced and sucks? Yeah, well, that should be called out, and I think creators should be informed. So if you know anyone that still does BetterHelp sponsorships, you can just show them this video. And if you ever think of paying for BetterHelp, go instead seek BetterHelp. Yeah, that was my last pun, I promise. BetterHelp, more like a better help me get 1000 followers on Instagram.com slash the soggiest dot serial link in the description. I mean, if you enjoyed this video, better help me out by subscribing to my channel and watching some of my other videos to become part of my cereal bowl so we can become the largest cereal bowl on YouTube and I can absorb all of your fibers and nutrients.